Today on So Craftastic, we are doing Sharpie art. They're supposed to fall in front of me, and they didn't. Woo. I'm gonna show you some awesome different ways to make beautiful artwork with just permanent marker ink and rubbing alcohol. I have done Galaxy, Mock Crayon Melting, which is super cool. These two don't have a name, but they're pretty. And then we have the hippy dippy trippy peace sign tie-dye art. Woo! I shall call it groovy and it shall be mine. And it shall be my groovy artwork. I had so much fun using the Sharpie alcohol resist technique. I don't know if that's really what it's called. Sharpie watercolors maybe? It kind of reminds me of the wax resist watercolor technique that I learned way back in grade school. If you want to use that method, you can draw on your canvas with a white crayon and then paint the ink over it and see what happens. It's really cool. Now, on to the tutorial. Peace, love, and Sharpies! To begin, you'll want to gather some canvas and various colors of permanent markers. Method number one is the Sharpie watercolor technique. So here I'm taking my permanent marker and I'm coloring on a sandwich bag. Once you have a lot of ink on the bag, you're going to take a dropper and some isopropyl alcohol and you're just going to squeeze that onto the marker and then you can take a paintbrush and you can transfer the ink onto your canvas and make any design that you want. The more alcohol you combine with your ink, the lighter your paint will be. So you can make many different shades from one color of marker and you can combine them. And the alcohol evaporates within a couple minutes, so then it will be completely dry. And if you want to add more ink on top, you can draw any type of design that you want. Next, I'm taking some neon Sharpies. You can really do any colors that you want for this, but I'm going to make a starburst, which is basically where you start with a burst in the middle of one color, and then you add on to that with the next color by just making really rushed zigzag lines or just kind of make it look furry, and you keep going and add colors until your entire canvas is full. Don't worry too much about your coloring because using the alcohol on top will totally distort your image and make it look super one of a kind and unique. After a few minutes, the ink will spread out and blend and do all this cool stuff. Method number three I like to call the crayon melting technique. For this one, I am going to just focus on the upper portion of the canvas and I'm taking colors of the rainbow and just coloring little portions on top all in a row and I'm connecting them together. So I started with yellow and ended with a light green and then I am also covering the sides of the canvas just to make it look nicer. Once everything is colored on, I'm going to prop the canvas up against the alcohol bottle and then I'm taking the dropper and I am just dropping from the top of the canvas and letting it run down. The effect is super awesome and I don't know, I just like how colorful it is. For the fourth method, I'm using duct tape. I'm going to cut out some stars with an X-Acto knife and I'm using my cutting board, but you can use scissors if you want. Basically, you can just stick duct tape or stickers onto your canvas before you add ink 
And then you're just going to do the same thing. Just put all your ink down, blend them together, and I'm putting colors first and then black over it. And once I have all that down, I am going to do kind of the same method as the crayon melting one. I'm going to prop the board upright and then I'm going to just drip the ink so it runs down. I like it to be diagonal for this one just because. And then once it's dry, I peel off the stars. And it's not going to be perfect, but it definitely gives you a better idea of where to add paint. So I'm going to use some puffy paint and just paint the stars gold. And finally I'm mixing Mod Podge with glitter and I'm going to spread that around with a paintbrush to make my galaxy super sparkly. The final one I did is a lot like the tie-dye one. I just covered the entire canvas with color and then I went in with the dropper and just added alcohol all over in different blobs. But as you can see, once it dried, I went in and layered the alcohol so there's some really light spots. Let me know which one of my Sharpie paintings is your favorite in the comments section below. And if you create your own Sharpie painting, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi. Please subscribe if you like what you see because every single Friday I do a DIY. Last week I did polymer clay cake pop charms, which are super cute. So here are the photos that were sent to me via Instagram using hashtag SoCraftastic. And I also included a bunch of other crafts that were inspired by my videos. Thank you so much for sharing your creations with me. I love seeing what you guys make. Don't forget to check out all of my links in the down bar. I hope to see you guys very soon. For my next video, I'm actually going to be posting some fail galaxy slime. It's a non-borax, non-liquid starch recipe, so it actually worked, but I don't really like the way it turned out, but I spent literally all day, I think Wednesday or Tuesday, filming it. Literally all day filming it, so there is no way that I am going to just delete all that footage. So I know some of you will have fun with it, and some of you can't even get borax where you live anyway, so I'm going to share the recipe with you all. But in the future, I will probably retry it with the actual good recipe that I should have done in the first place, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a non-borax super easy recipe. So I have that coming up, but I'll hopefully see you back here next Friday as well for another DIY. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of the day and I will see you soon, bye. We are doing, doing, we are doing the painting of the Sharpie, yes. <laughs> oh my God, there it is. Really awesome, it just turns awesome, like a Ninja Turtle. Okay, um, yeah, and Sharpies! Purple and green. What are the odds that I would pull Barney colors out?